Today we're going to be making a wig sis and all you need is a wig head, preferably whatever your circumference of your head is. Mine is a 22 and a half so sometimes I use 23 inch if I'm trying to have like a big curly wig and I know I want to be able to do a lot of movement with it. But if I want my wig to be super snug and I want to make sure it's not moving or sliding back, I'm going to go for the 22 inch which is what I have right here. And of course I like to push my wigs behind my hairline so that is another reason why I prefer to go a size down. However, if you are tender headed or you have super thick hair definitely go up half an inch or an extra inch for your wig head and for back support you want to make sure you have a wig stand I'll have all of this linked into my description box to make it super easy for you since I'm making this wig super duper simple, we are going to go in with some store-bought hair. It is called Prestige Natural. We're making a bob wig unit today, so of course we only need two packs of hair. We might only use a pack and a half. Don't know because I don't really like my wigs to be super bulky when it comes to something short or that's cut into a bob. I'm also using a HD 2x6 lace closure. The first thing you want to do is grab your dome head and place it as if it's your head. So I line mine up with the stitches that are already on it. So I use this as kind of like where my nose would be. And that's what makes it super easy for me. If you don't know how to measure your head, just make sure you go out and get some measuring tape. And you just want to take your circumference. That's it. That's all. It's not that deep. You can kind of adjust it in between. Since my head is kind of like on a 23 inch side, I like to you know stretch out my dome cap as far down as it'll go if you are a beginner you can use t-pins i prefer not to use t-pins don't be like me be better than me use t-pins if you don't know exactly how to like keep it sturdy i however i'm not going to do all of that because that's just not what i need to do but if you need your dome cap to stay down get you some t-pins I'll add them in the description box and just pin the cap down so it doesn't, you know, move while you're stitching. Of course, you're going to need needle and thread. You can use the nylon thread or you can just use the regular cotton thread. I am using the black. I believe this is just the cotton thread. This is the wig unit. Oh, my side eyes went off. This is a wig unit. It's not on my natural hair, but if you're sewing on your natural hair, try to use like the nylon. But if you're making a wig, girl, use whatever you want to use. I prefer to use the curved large needles just because it allows me to sew faster through webs. And I don't know, the straight ones, I usually poke myself a lot. So these allow me to, you know, sew gracefully. But you can use whatever you want to use, child. This is your world. I'm just in it. Now, let me show you how to thread a needle for those of you who do not know how to thread a needle. You want to take your thread. Okay, this is the thread. This is the needle. Excuse my nails, y'all. I've been trying not to get my nails done until I finish making all of my hair videos. So <laughs> you want to take your needle and you just want to put the first piece of thread through the little loop. And you're going to pull it through and it's going to look like you're doubling it. You're going to double it for as long as you like. Then you want to take the two ends when they connect and you just want to tie it into like a little knot. I like to make sure it's double just to make sure it does not pop while I'm stitching. Now, when I make my wigs, I do start off with the lace closure just because that is how I know exactly what I'm sewing around. So we're going to go in with this Janet. This is a, like a super cheap closure. Now, since this is a bob, I didn't want to spend too much money on hair because I'm going to be cutting it. And I don't know how short I want to go yet. So if you're new to making wigs and you just want to try out some hair, this is some really good hair to try. And it's right in your hair store or you can get it off of my Amazon storefront. This is a two by six lace closure, so it's only going to serve the purpose that it's meant for to be a closure. You cannot switch the parts. Maybe if it was, you know, not being cut into a bob, you would be able to switch it. But since I'm placing this directly in the middle, you will not be able to switch the part, especially after you cut it. Once you cut it, you know, it's kind of done for. The girlies who would need T-pins, this is really going to help you just to make sure you're sewing where you want to be sewn down at. So I, like I said, I'm not using a T-pin because you know, I'm not new to this, I'm true to this. I'm gonna kind of wing my way in there, but I like to start off on each side, sewing from side to side. So if I start off my first stitch over here, I'm gonna do maybe two or three right here and I'm gonna do two or three over there just to make sure it's balanced out and it's even and it's not giving bulky or lopsided. I 
I've already done maybe two or three stitches over on that side. So I'm going to alternate over here and we are going to go in, pull it slightly. You don't want to rip the lace, but you don't want to pull it too hard because like I said, it is a lace and it can rip. But I like to make sure that it's not going to be bulky once I put it onto my head. So I do kind of like pull to the opposite direction just to make sure it's fully stretched out and not leaving room for any kind of bubble. I've already sewed two stitches, two or three stitches on both sides. So I'm going to keep alternating all the way until I'm done stitching the entire thing to the back. And as y'all can see, I don't want my, if I were gluing this down to my forehead, I would like for my wig to start off right here. But since I'm probably going to either push this right on my hairline or directly behind it, this piece right here where it's kind of thinner, I'm going to cut this off. I don't really want this to be a part of my wig. That is why you see my wig is going to start right there where the cap is. All of this will be cut off just because I don't really do the, you know, the long baby hairs on my wigs. And when I'm sewing on my closure, I don't do any knots because that is going to, I don't want any bulking or, you know, bubbles to form. So I'm literally just sewing regular like up and down. I'm not doing any knots until I get to my bubbles. Let's alternate to the other side. And this might seem tedious to some, but it helps me. However, if you know how to sew it on without going from side to side, baby, do you, girl. But for me, this helps me prevent going back and redoing the entire lace closure. So right now, this is how far down we have gotten. I'm going to continue to pull down as I stitch as well. Frozen trees. When it comes to money, I concentrate. you are not my Now, when you're sewing this last piece, you want to tilt the head down a little bit. And when you're pulling the thread through, you want to pull backwards and not forward because that'll end up also putting bubbles into your lace closure. So I always just kind of turn it to the opposite direction, go through and pull towards the back of the mannequin head. Just to stretch it out a little bit more. And that 
is how you sew your lace closure on. Now, for the bundles, we are going to just be sewing literally around the dome head. And now we're gonna start sewing in our first bundle. This is the 12, well, both of them are 12 inch. Cause you're gonna cut it anyway. You can honestly do 10 inch, but I wasn't sure what kind of bob I wanted to do. So I got 12 inch. This is the hair. It's giving body yaddy. I honestly might only be using a bundle and a half because when I tell y'all, I do not wanna be on the internet looking like I'm wearing a helmet with the bob. The bob wigs are some of them, the wigs that I see worn the worst ways because I don't think people know not to add a lot of hair. Like you can't do four bundles of 12 inch and think you're not gonna be walking out of there looking like Lord Farquaad. No ma'am. And before I start stitching, let me just show you guys really quick how I prefer to stitch my wigs because I like my wigs to lay towards my face and not like, you know, to the side or push back. So I normally start my wigs and being that I don't want this to be super thick now, if you want your wigs to be super full, there's another method. I can make another video on that. But being that this is a bob, you do not want to completely fill up your dome cap with, you know, a weft. You don't, you don't want this whole thing to be super thick. So I like to start my wigs. I don't know how y'all do yours, but when I do mine, I literally start mine up here, maybe like slightly above my ear. Like if you can imagine where your ears would be at, I would start mine right here and go all the way around to the other side, just so I can already know how my hair is gonna be laying. So we're gonna go here, then we're gonna go up. I like to do maybe one to two fingers space apart when it comes to a bob wig. We're gonna go up. You're gonna go all the way up until your C around the head becomes a U around the lace closure. If you are a beginner, I like to go through the weft on the first two or three stitches. After that, you're kind of just going underneath the weft and knotting it along the way. So I kind of do like a double one just to make sure it doesn't come out. And this band, if you want to be able to stretch your wig out, you want to make sure you don't stitch on this band. I mean, you can. I like to stitch on mine because I probably measured my head. And I'm also not going to stitch through the actual elastic right here. I'm going to only stitch through the cloth part. So let me give you an example. This is just the cloth. This is not, you know, the elastic. This has nothing to do with the elastic. I'm literally just taking my needle and going right through that just because I want my hair to sit as low as possible. So if the wind blows, it's not giving wig cap. I never, we never want to give that. And you just have to make sure that you are not going through the elastic band so that you are able to stretch out your wig if you need to. What's going to make your wig adjustable on these type of dome caps is being able to stretch it even after the bundles are sewn up there. But if you are to sew everything all the way up around, you're not gonna be able to move it for real. So only do this if you know how to make your wigs and you're sure about your head sizing. Now, if this is something that you're scared about, start above the elastic band. Don't stitch like I'm doing. Stitch above the elastic band so that you're able to stretch it out just a little bit. <laughs> Now me personally, knowing myself, I went ahead and cut it right there just in case I wanted to stretch it out just a little bit. Being that this is a bob wig unit, so if you want to, you can just cut your weft right there and, you know, start again. Just so it leaves a little room for a gap.
you dey from papa. We try money, we never see before. Oh, sell on me, but me feeling I'm the one. I did. Really quick, I just wanted to show you how far along we've gotten with just half a pack of that hair. And I'm gonna remind y'all again, it is very important that if you are making a bob wig unit, you wanna make sure that you are spacing these pieces out. You do not want everything to be super close together. Now that I have done, let's count the rows. One, two, this is four rows. Four rows starting from the very bottom of the nape. My next row is gonna start in the middle right here just so we can close up this space right here. And we're gonna go back and forth all the way until we get right here. And we're sewing in a U directly after that. Just wanted to give y'all a little breakdown in between so you guys can actually see what's going on. Cause I don't know if my angle is right. Y'all can let me know in the comments for when I make my next wig video. So you guys won't be like super confused. Actually thinking about coloring it jet black because I feel like wigs, like the bob wigs that I like and I love putting like messy waves, like beach waves into it. I feel like jet black will do it good. And being that this wig is already colored, why not do this one jet black? y'all so we just finished the first pack of hair and we are all the way at the top y'all i know it looks like it's going to be spacey but i promise you once this is on your head and everything is combed back you're not going to see any of this and plus we still have to fill in these little areas right here so we have a whole other pack left we are probably not even going to use half of this because like i said i do not want no mushroom for a wig so <laughs> i'm gonna just finish sewing this up and like i said the c slowly turns into a u so once we fill in these gaps right here, everything else is going to be stitched right around the closure. And yeah, child, we just made a wig in an hour. And to make sure that I am not making this wig super bulky, I'm going to fold this weft back to kind of close in the deep space that's left right here I'm just going to fold this piece back to cover up a lot of that space you want this bad so i'm cool with that i'm just trying to match your words with your actions i need more than satisfaction did you really feel that action really want to give your arm a place in front of your friends how that works where that you 
And this is the last track that I'm sewing on here, and we are done, y'all. We still have all of this hair left. All of this. Okay, y'all, now that we're finished making our wig, we're just going to make sure that everything is everything. And I'm also going to go ahead and cut off the excess dome cap that's underneath the lace because of course we don't want our scalp to look black so we always cut this off but only whatever is underneath our lace closure and you can literally see where the stitches are only cut inside of these stitches otherwise you're going to mess up your whole wig that you just spent an hour and a half to two hours making or however long it take you to make yours and you also want to make sure that you're not cutting the lace closure because if you cut that lace closure, baby, you might as well cancel Christmas. So just take your time, girl. There's no rush. And cut only the dome cap. Okay, the wig has been created. There is a slight stretch to this. So when you do put it on, you should have enough room to kind of just like slide it on. I'm going to go dye this black and I'll be right back. I dyed it black. I did attempt to bleach the knots, but I did not. Um, I was kind of rushing. So I'll redo it in another video so you guys can see exactly how to bleach your knots. But right now I'm just going to try to blow dry this flat so that the closure is not so like, you know, all over the place. I know There's no specific hair product that I use on my hair extensions. I tend to use whatever I have in stock, but I do want to recommend that you do not use all of your good products on hair extensions. You can honestly use like Pantene or like the, you know, the regular shampoos that you can find in any you know, convenience store. But today I am using bamboo silk. This is just what I had for, you know, leave-in conditioner. Just want to spray all around and you just want to kind of like comb through, make sure it's all in there and through there. I like to try my wigs on before I cut them just to make sure that, um, you know, it's going to be the length that I like on me. Now, I have not plugged anything, so don't judge how I'm looking right now. Right now, it looks very wiggy, um, but I am going to just cut so I can know how short I want this wig. We're going to do this. Let's just even it out right here. Mm, or is that too long? I want your life. I want my motto. I want build house. I still want to know. Let me tell you. What's it go? Do I go? Oh, depend. Ride the way. I know. Die for nothing. What's it go? Do I go? Oh, depend. The gallery. Ride the way. I know we different things than happening, schemes and packaging. In a one night for shows, I'm juggling. Flow like the ocean, my boat, I'm paddling. Shout out Shinapella, that's my bro, my family. Frozen trends. When it comes to money, I take concentrate. Okay, this is how much I've cut so far. I didn't want to spend too much time on the actual cut. I'll make a totally separate video for that. This video is solely about 
constructing your wig unit. So let's, I'm gonna flat iron her and I'll be right back. Okay, this is Bobbyana. I cannot wait to redo my bathroom. I have destroyed this with like bleach. It's bleach all over my shower curtain, but whatever, we're here now. So as y'all can see, this part looks a little bit too unnatural for my liking. So I'm only gonna pluck based off of how my natural hairline, how I want it to look blended in with my natural hairline. So when you're plucking the knots, you wanna be gentle. You do not wanna be out here plucking too much at one time. I typically try to do one side at a time. And I also try to go in like zigzag order. So sometimes I'll even pluck and pull, but don't be like me, be better than me. I just do like a little zigzag. And it's not always correct, but zigzag makes it look a little bit more natural. When you're plucking. And I know I'm not going to pluck all of these. These are just the hairs I'm going to pluck from. So you want to just take your tweezers, child. Get you some good ones that got like a good grip in the front. And you literally just want to pluck out the little black dots that you see on the lace. You can also just bleach your knots, but... Sometimes I just feel like if you have a HD lace, you ain't even gotta do all that. Which is why I barely did mine like that. Okay, this part looks more natural. So this is the wig. Come on, Bobbyana. Bomb. Look at the body. Yes, this is store-bought hair, y'all. Store-bought hair sticking to my lip gloss. Ooh. Bomb. And all that's left is to cut off this lace. So let's do that. And honestly, I don't even have to push this behind my hairline if I don't want to. So let me try to keep this. I was going to push this behind my hairline, but it actually looks so damn good. Just like this. And I haven't even put anything up there. Like you can see the lace right now. I can fold it up or down. And this is like with no glue, no nothing. My natural hairline is back there. But I feel like this is eating the girls up just like that. I could literally just lay that right there. Get some got to be glue. Mm -hmm. Tap just a tad bit on my finger. Come a little forward. You know, you just want to tap it on the lace mainly. You don't really got to get it on the hair, even though I just did make a big little mess. Get a blow dryer. Blink from the thing them call a broken heart. This blessed love will never part. They don't know it from the start. But tell them say I don't say it. A short ball and Sasha. Bing.